Hi everyone! Today we're going to read a new story. The title of our story is Mr. Putter and Tabby Fly the Plane. It's written by Cynthia Ryland and it's illustrated by Arthur Howard. Let's start. Chapter 3 The Boy. Every day for many weeks, Mr. Putter and Tabby flew the little biplane. Tabby never hiccuped anymore. She had become used to flying things. Children from town heard about the plane, and they all came to the fields to watch it fly. Mr. Putter loved this. He liked the company. He let the children take turns flying the little plane. And he felt like a proud grandpa. One boy he liked best of all. The boy was a little shy, a little clumsy, a little forgetful, just like Mr. Putter. But whenever the boy flew, Mr. Putter's plane, he wasn't shy or clumsy or forgetful at all. He was strong. He was sure. He was happy. When Mr. Putter saw this, he remembered himself as a boy. He remembered how he had wanted a plane that really flew. He remembered lying awake every night wishing for one. Now, Mr. Putter had his plane, but he was old. He didn't need it as much. He had Tabby, and she was everything he needed. So, one day, he gave his little biplane to the shy, clumsy, forgetful boy. The boy became a hero among the other children. And Mr. Putter and Tabby went back to their tea and muffins, their tulips and roses, their morning naps and afternoon puddings. And sometimes, when they were out for a walk together, proud little biplane flew high above their head.